There is a reason why the Black Sea is called Black. It comes from the hostility that greeted its first explorers, the fierce storms and the intense fog that steals the light. Two millenniums later, GSP and TPAO decided to bring a splash of colour to the Black Sea. That is why the giant yellow topside rises above the water. Of course, it was not out of great artistic sense which led to the installation of the offshore platform, but out of economic necessity. Now the 7 km long, 12 inch diameter pipe supplies natural gas, whilst following the course of industrialization and economic development, as Turkey is expected to double its natural gas needs by 2030. And so the offshore construction project, including the installation of a steel jacket, is 101 meters high and weighs 1,366 tons. This makes it one of the largest modular double-decked platform topsides in the Black Sea. Putting 3,000 tonnes of steel in the middle of the sea is a tough job, and until GSP, pretty much an impossible job on the Black Sea. These shiny new pieces of steel are prepared to do the entire dirty job. So the job is done. The people who built it have every reason to be proud and the people who will benefit from the Atchacocha platform will be pleased. Not only because they added a little colour to this Black Sea, but because, as planned, a very large part of Turkey's natural gas needs were covered. And since this is not only about the technical achievements, but about people as well, we need to reiterate what Howard Cleave said so well. Equipment's nice to have, but without people, you can't do anything. And the people are what made the project a success. So, whichever way you look at it, this was a great success. It's morning in Romania. Like everywhere else at this time, people are heading to school. And if you want to find a good school in Constanza sport area, it's not that hard. This is the home of GSP Training Center. It's a modern building, purpose-built for education. It's a place where professionals gather to train for higher qualifications. Here the future takes shape, lots of important decisions are taken here, but there is one place more important, the core, the reason why, the simulator room. The Drill 6000 imitates, to the last switch, the real-world command center of an oil rig. Many well-positioned professionals in big oil companies spend at least one week in the GSP simulator. They all accomplished what they were sent here for, better training. Because at GSP we understand that oil companies worldwide need professionals, highly trained employees, and they become professionals through professional help. So, in the end, 
The most important asset at the GSP Training Center is not the conference room or the classroom. It's the people. Each and every one of them a keystone in the structure of the Red Hall, the GSP Training Center. This is GSP Saturn, a cantilever type, self-elevating, mobile offshore drilling rig. It was built as a slot type drilling rig in 1988 by Galatz Shipyard Romania. The rig was significantly upgraded in 2004. In 2009, GSP carried out an extensive upgrading project, investing 68.5 million US dollars and financing over 60% from GSP's own funds. And now, the reason this enormous giant stands tall in the middle of the sea. The drilling operation. It's a complex process with certain steps to follow, a very laborious endeavor. The cast of this main act are the top drive, the iron rough neck, the catwalk, the pipes, the pipe handler, one piece of mud bucket or maritza as they call it, one piece of state-of-the-art drilling equipment, cyber chair control, the NOV Amphion system driller's cabin with dual chairs, some other not so big and not so visible devices, and the most important, GSP's professional crew. It's a 24-7 process. GSP Saturn is not only working like a well-oiled machine, it actually brings out the oil that lubricates the machine. And from a distance, it looks like a big, mean machine. Close up, it is clearly a modern and highly efficient technological island, safely sustaining the energy balance. When it works, it brings benefits to a sea of people. We sailed a sea to make preparations for the 2014 Winter Olympics. Our purpose is to introduce you to the project of strategical importance for the economic development of the Soch region. The idea of installing a gas pipeline along the Krasnodar shore took place at the beginning of 2000, but the final kick into taking the decision was the selection of Soch as the host of the 2014 Winter Olympic Games. GSP is the only Romanian company to win a project of such a scale in the Russian Federation. The initial value of the contract amounting 269 million US dollars. The 530 millimeter gas pipeline will have an annual flow capacity of 3.8 billion cubic meters. The gas pipeline fabrication process consists of several stages. The pipe laying barges ensure the entire pipeline fabrication and technological processes beveling, automated welding, non-destructive testing, coating, coating testing, and finally the pipeline launching out of the stinger to the bottom of the sea. The entire process lasts approximately 8.5 minutes. Thus, every 8.5 minutes, the gas pipeline gets 12.2 meters longer. While the vessel moves at exactly the same speed, it is almost impossible to notice the vessel movement. Now let's have a look over the place where the pipe goes, the seabed. That place is not always a pipe friendly place. For that you need a special ship. GSP Prince is an offshore support vessel, perfectly equipped for this kind of job. First it surveys the bottom and well trained men decide where the pipe should go. For that they use an impressive ROV, Triton XLR, and his little brother, Navajo. Divers may be mobilized for subsea surveys, installation, decommissionings. They are an outstanding professional body. Because now the job is done, the waters are cleaned, everybody's safe and sound, but for BF1 is surely not the end. This floating technology island has already set compass to another project. So see you next time, next job.